Along with setting up your store's shipping methods, you need to configure your shipping zones. Shipping zones are the areas in the world that you are willing to ship to when customers place orders at your store. We can configure these under Shipping and Pickup, Zones. And we have several zones over here by default. United States, US and Canada, Europe, and the state that we set up our store in. When we set up shipping methods earlier, these were the options that we had available for each method. We could assign any of these to any shipping method. If you remember, when we set up our shipping methods, we also had a world option, which would allow us to make it available for any part of the world. That zone is invisible here because it's always available for us, and we also can't edit it. From this page, we can modify existing zones, add new zones, or delete existing zones. In most cases, you don't want to delete an existing zone just because you're not using it. It's nice to have it there as an option, especially so you don't have to recreate it later if you ever feel like you may need it. But if you mess up on one or there's one that you're 100% sure you're not going to need, you can always select it and click delete. Be careful with this because, as always, once you delete something, the only way to get it back is to create it again from scratch. When we are editing any given zone, we have a number of options over here. We can add a country, which is pretty straightforward. We can add a region, which includes all countries in the given region. We can add a state, also fairly straightforward. And we can add a region over here, which essentially allows us to select a country, and then it adds each state or city within that country on a granular basis. This is good for situations where you want to create a shipping zone only for certain parts of a country. So if we were to choose Australia, for instance, we scroll down here, it's added all of these parts of Australia, but if we wanted to remove, for whatever reason, Northern Territory, New South Wales, South Australia, we can do so. As usual, whenever you make any changes to one of these, you want to click Save to save those, but if you do something like I did and you make a change that you decide you don't want to save, or if you mess up, the best thing to do is just to refresh the page, and you'll probably get a pop-up like this. And just say Refresh or Reload or whatever your browser gives you as an option. And that will essentially undo your changes. Let's add a new zone. And when we do so, we automatically get a new zone over here in the sidebar. And the first thing we want to do is give this a zone name. Now, this is an internal name, so this is not customer facing. So use a name that's going to be best for you to remember. And for this zone, we're gonna set up one for local drop-off. Earlier in the tutorial, we set up a local shipping method. However, at the time, we had to use Alabama as our destination zone because that was the closest thing we had to a local option. But let's say we wanna narrow that down quite a bit. We only want to hand deliver things to our immediate local area, not anywhere in the state of Alabama. So for this zone, I'm gonna call it local zips. And instead of adding a country or region or a state, this time I'm gonna go down here to the zip and postal codes box and add only specific zip codes. First, I'm gonna add 35209. And when you add multiple zip codes here, you add each additional one on a separate line. I'm gonna do 35210. And that's all I'm going to use for local zips. I'm gonna save this. Now we have our new shipping zone set up. And let's do one more thing. Now that we have this available, we can use this for our local drop-off option instead of Alabama. So let's go back to shipping and pickup. And here we have all of the shipping methods that we set up earlier. Here we have local delivery. We have it set currently as region Alabama. Let's edit this. We can click edit here or go to actions, edit. Scroll down a little bit. Here we have shipping region. 
If we open this drop down box now, you'll see we have local zips. And notice also, like I mentioned, we have the world always as an option. But we have all of the shipping zones that we saw over on the shipping zones page, along with our new one. And that's the one we're going to select local zips. As always, make sure to save. Now we've set up our shipping zones to reflect the places we will ship our products to. And we've divided them up because we want to use different methods of shipping to send customers order to them based on where they live.